Hey guys, welcome back to Vinceville Custom. So today we're going to do a little bit of a kit review. And this is kind of actually pretty cool little kit. Uh, long story short is when I do a lot of customs, sometimes people want me to put guns in people's hands. Like if maybe they're holding a sword or holding something else, but they want to put a gun. And I'm not really good at sculpting guns. Or what I usually did in the past, try to find guns from other kits and statues and kind of break them off and put them stuff. So after doing some research of the project I'm working on for somebody, uh, they really wanted to put guns in their hand, so a friend of mine told me about these a while back, and I completely forgot about them until recently. So what I did is I went on a line, and I was searching for guns again, and then I remembered that, oh, there's this company out there called, uh, uh, probably I might be saying it wrong, Verlodyne? Verlodyne? Um, I'll put it in the description and everything so you guys can check it out. And what they do is they have one fourth scale guns and one six scales, and I think they also have one third? Or one six, I don't know, I don't, I don't remember, but they have one four scale, and they actually kind of fit the sideshow scale, and you know, uh, stuff like that, the one four scale stuff. So, I uh, I was talking to the client, I said, Look, I was like, we can actually do guns. I found these things, are you interested in getting these? And he's like, Yeah, let's do that. So, we found these two guns here, and I thought they were going to be plastic guns because I'm looking at the pictures, and it's all black and stuff. So, I figured, you know, it's going to be like plastic PVC guns you just kind of piece together and everything. So, my first uh, impression when I opened one up, I was actually shocked. It's actually not plastic, they're actually resin. So it's actually resin pieces, which is actually really damn cool because me working in resin, it actually makes things easier than plastic because sometimes, you know, plastic PVC doesn't really stick paint stick too well. But just looking at these pieces and everything, it's pretty much broken down fairly easy. Uh, this one's actually seems a little bit hollow inside, at least this piece here. I'm not really sure. I kind of have to play with them a little bit. But, you know, I mean, just looking at it and the way it's all done, I mean, it's pretty much... As, I'm trying to trying to gauge it a little bit and see how it works. So I'm looking at the gun here. So there might be extra pieces, like, you know, flashing and stuff. So i got to kind of piece it all together. And once I piece it together, though, and I get it in the hand, it's going to be a solid gun. It's going to look like that, you know. Now, the other thing, too, is you don't actually have to you know, put these in a hand of somebody. Say you're working on a Punisher statue, you know, and you want to have him have a bunch of guns, like, on the ground and maybe wrapped around his shoulder or, you know, whatever, so you can do that. So these things look pretty cool. So it's going to be kind of cool putting them together. Then once they're together, I have to put it into the hand. But I was actually really shocked, as you can see, that these are resin. You know, it's not, uh, it might be like, a, it might be, you know, close to plastic, but it still is resin. So I just got to kind of make sure I piece it all together very well. I mean, it comes with the directions, you know, so you can see how to put the gun together. So, I mean, the major problem is, is uh, the project I'm working on currently is I'm going to have to take the sword out of the hand and try to get the, you know, the gun uh, handle into the hand or at least try to kind of work it out my own little way or maybe sculpt my own little handle. But at least ma the major gun piece is pretty much ready to go, which is really phenomenal. And I think this is a great way of doing customs for me and for anybody else that's out there so if you had they have a bunch of different guns you know they have a uh, this uh, Uzi submachine gun and then they got this uh, I don't know what this one is just a uh, is a Colt AR-15 so I mean they're really cool so if you guys are looking to, to pick up uh, you know guns for your customs or your kits and stuff like you know, say you know like say you buy a kit you know, a garage kit, and it comes with a gun, but you don't like the gun, you can find one of these guns. They have a lot of, you know, older type guns, like maybe like rifles, and they even, I think they have some shotguns, but I didn't see any shotguns in this scale, but maybe they'll start producing more as time goes on, but this is really, really cool stuff. So here's actually a card in this one, I'll uh, pop this out for you guys so you can see. There you go, so if you wanna, if you're interested, you can go check them out. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So, uh, so I'm just got to sit down one night and kind of drum all this stuff out. And then once I get the gun all pieced together, it's just a matter of attaching it to the hand and painting it up. I mean, it's just it's a great time saver. And uh, you know, they're not expensive. I think they were only like 25 bucks plus shipping a piece. Um, I have to say that's a fairly good price. I mean, you know, if you if you uh, want to put like submachine guns into a character or rifles and stuff, it's you know instead of like hiring a sculptor or finding someone to sculpt it that's going to charge you know 10 times that amount 
plus you know trying to get it and everything this is just ready to go and you know I think these things are mainly for people just to kind of put it on like a wall display with the little uh, nameplate they come with a nameplate as well so some people probably you know make little wooden plaques and they can you know it's a it's 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 a model kit hobby of guns you know you have model kits of a uh, cars you got you know army dudes you got the statues that we work on monsters you know so there's it's kind of cool to find this and incorporate this into my customs so it gives you guys a little bit better idea we'll kind of try to get a little bit closer hold on i'm doing a camera at the end so you can kind of see the pieces a little bit you know uh, pretty cool i mean the detailing looks really good I think it's just uh, the way they casted it up is just going to be the issue because you know this piece right here isn't part of the gun. It, this piece is kind of like the flashing whereas you know the tip of the gun here this little square piece has got to come off and then the handle this little piece here has got to come off. So it's going to be a little bit of finessing with some stuff to kind of get them together but with enough glue and some pins and A's I could kind of you know fix it up and then if I mess up on anything it's going to be okay because the character I'm working for is kind of like a beat, a beat up character he just you know it has a lot of weapons and stuff so it'll play to my advantage if there's scrapes and scratches and I can use those as paints and stuff so there you go that's a little bit of a kit review uh, something a little bit different hopefully you guys kind of like the idea and uh, maybe you guys knew about this uh, more than I did because I didn't know about these stuff and if I knew about this stuff earlier it would have really helped me out with some customs but I think it's pretty cool so I'll be looking into more of this company and their products you know maybe they got knives and other guns and whatever I can use for customs you know and just kind of change things up here and there so uh, once uh, maybe if I start plugging away on these and I do it uh, I'll see how the project you know I got to work on one gun see how it all works out and then the other gun maybe we'll do a follow up video or maybe I'll do a video of how I'm getting into the custom hands and go from there but I just kind of want to play with one on my own and then we'll kind of go to the other one so thanks for watching and we'll be back with some more videos